You may have recently seen the announcement that LastPass are now significantly restricting users of their free version of LastPass and that also Dashlane is going browser only with their plans. Now with LastPass that means you'll only be able to use LastPass on a computer but an unlimited number of computers or commit to using LastPass on mobile only. Now this all comes to effect on March the 16th, 2021. And then furthermore, on May the 17th, 2021, free users will no longer be able to get support via email. And it limits you basically to their knowledge base and then their community forum. And in the meantime, they've now discounted LastPass premium to just $2.25 per month when billed a year up in, in advance, or $3 per month for the LastPass families, which is valid for the first year. And then it upgrades you to the normal pricing the next year after. So I'm making this video because I've been inundated with comments on my last password comparison video, which compares LastPass, one password, Bitwarden, Dashlane, and a few other password managers. And with both LastPass and Dashlane making some pretty big changes to their products. I just wanted to post a short video to uh, to discuss. For those of you who keep asking, a new password manager review video is in the works, I promise you. I'm just currently retesting all of the password managers once more so that when it is ready to go, I'm gonna be posting it on this channel probably in the next month, maybe two months. I just wanna make sure I'm doing it properly. So subscribe if you want to watch that video, or if that's too long to wait, then I would say watch this video first, then go back and watch my password manager review, which will be up here somewhere. Now, LastPass's recent changes actually make kind of sense to me. You obviously need to generate an income to be able to continue developing a product. And in my last video, I did say that LastPass seems to be the one password manager above all others that spends the most on their marketing. So spend a lot on marketing, get a lot of customers, which in itself introduces a problem because the sponsorships and marketing that LastPass does are going to generate a lot of new customers for them. I mean, it must do, surely, because they've been advertising for years and if it wasn't working, then they wouldn't be doing it. But anyway, whether it's accidental or planned, LastPass has a problem of being flooded with free users who aren't paying anything for the service, yet still needs to provide all of the like infrastructure and stuff behind the scenes to keep it all running. Now they've got a ton of new customers, all they need to do is announce some pricing changes like they've done now, tempt users to upgrade with a special offer like they've done now, and assume there'll be a bit of fallout of free users who, you know, will go elsewhere. And they're kind of onto a winning formula. It's a great business model, but not great for those people that have obviously signed up and got their passwords in there and then expected a free ride. Over in the Dashlane camp, news broke early this year that they were dropping their desktop app completely to focus on just their browser experience, which is probably more frustrating, I think, for those existing paying customers of Dashlane who are likely to be in the same camp as the, maybe the LastPass users, you know, needing to find somewhere else to centrally store all the password information. With Dashlane's planned changes, which I think are set to come into effect later this year in like Q3, you will not be able to use Dashlane to automatically fill passwords on like your desktop apps. And actually it'll be very difficult to use overall because have you ever tried logging onto something and then firing up your web browser going to the settings, show passwords, find password, then copy and paste in the whole back and forth thing. It's, it's just not usable to me. So where does this leave us? Well, keeping this video short, if you are currently using the free version of LastPass or Dashlane, then move to Bitwarden. If you're currently a paying member of either LastPass or Dashlane, then sign up to one password. Fantastic, highly recommend it. And I'll also put a link in the video description below that gets you 25% off of either a family's or a personal subscription. Subscribe to see when I do my full video comparison. In the meantime, go back and watch my full password manager review from late last year. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.